Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at quality management using advanced warehouse processes in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Quality management is a pretty large topic, so what we're going to focus on today is the part that is affected by the advanced warehouse processes. What you're going to notice is the biggest difference in quality management in advanced warehouse versus non-advanced warehouse is that you no longer have a quarantine warehouse to move the stock to. So what you use instead are inventory statuses. So part of the setup you're going to see is that we're going to set up an inventory status if the uh, quality order passes or if the quality order fails, we'll, we'll set up a different one. So you can set these to different blocking statuses based on pass or fail. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the setup for the quality orders for um, warehouse management. So the first place we're going to take a look at is the actual quality order setup. So we're going to go under inventory management, and then I can get to pretty much everything I want from the quality association screen here. Um, so what I've done is I've set up an item here in uh, site two. It's a triple zero one, and the main things you want to make sure you have set up is normal stuff on your qual quality orders. So I've got an item. Um, I've got a test group, and then that test group is associated with an item sampling. If I go into the item sampling, um, I'll go ahead and just click on that there. And so once we're in the item sampling, the, the important pieces here are the, this location and license plate. So we want this to be confirmed on the, on the actual item sampling. All right, so let's stop here for just a second and talk about the license plate on the item uh, sampling there. So that's actually a really new field that just got added. It's September 2019 right now, and I believe that got added in August or maybe July, end of July, somewhere in there. It's a very, very new field that, that's been added. So what was happening with actually a client that I was working with is that all of their quality management items were going to the same physical location in the warehouse and same location in, in, the, um, in the system. So what was happening is if we had more than one quality order, um, in that location for the same item. When we updated one of the quality orders item, the other one updated as well because it was looking in the same location and updating all the same items in that exact location. So this license plate flag, if you're, you'd use that if you're going to have the same quality location. So you've got one location you're moving all of your inventory into and you're testing it from there. You need that license plate flag so it can differentiate between the different quality orders basically. Now, if you're sending your quality orders to different locations, you've got a quality area and, there's, and you've got one SKU per, per location, you're fine. You can just use the, lo the location flag. Um, but if it's all going to the same location, be sure and have that license plate checked. All right, so the next thing we want to double check and we want to make sure that we've got is on the test group. What I would recommend is if on the test group you go up to the general tab, um, there's a the section here that's update inventory status. So what this status is going to let you do is when whenever you fail or pass a quality order, it's going to set an inventory status at the end, right? So this these these merchandise is going to be in the quality location. So maybe you don't want anybody picking that even after the quality order has been uh, passed, you know. So fail, you probably may want to block it just because you don't want anybody picking inventory that's failed a, uh, a quality order. But even if it's passed, you may not want anybody picking it at that time. So you may want to make them both blocked. You may want to make them both available or, or some com kind of combination there. So what I'm going to do to make it just simple here, on the failed quality order, I'm going to say blocking. And then on the past quality order here, I'm going to go and make that available. So again, that'll happen on the, on the actual update of the quality order, whether or not it's passed or failed. It'll set these inventory statuses. So other than that, um, the other thing that you want to make sure you want to set up is the, the event type. So the purchasing in the WMS device works on, on registration. So what you want to do is set your event type to registration as well. So this will generate your quality order on registration and then direct the person to move the item to the quality order. Now speaking of that, there is a location directive that you'll set up. So we'll go into warehouse management next and we're going to go look at the location directives. Where you set this location directive up is under the purchase orders section. And I'm going to use warehouse 24 today, so we'll concentrate on this. So I've got two, two uh, location directives. Now the, the PO direct is your normal purchasing location directive. But if you have quality management, what you want to do is you want to set up the location directive. This is sequence number higher or, or the actual number will be lower than your PO uh, location directive because you want, want it to evaluate this one first. 
So in this particular location directive, I'm just going to be sending it, if we look down here in the edit query, I'm sending it to a QMS location. So that's actually, I want to make that a location instead of a uh, location profile. So I'll make that location uh, QMS right there. Okay. Now the important part of this one is if we look at the edit query up here on the top for the location directive itself, what we have here is a condition that is for quality order. So what it's going to do for is a quality order of status open. So if there's an open quality order on that item, it's going to direct the person to the QMS location based on this location directive. All right, so now that we've seen the setup of the quality management and the advanced warehouse setup part of it, let's go ahead and execute some orders. I've created a PO and, that we can use and we'll generate a quality order off of that. Okay, so we've got a PO created here. It's PO number 126 to Contoso Office Supply. Very simple PO. I've got our item A0001 and it's got a quantity of one against it. Okay, so let's flip over to our warehouse app. And this is going to be an inbound process. And this will work the same way regardless if you're doing a single step or a two step um, receive and put away process. So I'm just going to do the single step uh, combined receive and put away this time. And we'll go ahead and put in our PO number. I'll paste that in there. And our item is going to be our A0001. Say OK here. Now I should note uh, while I'm entering in the quantity that I have this set to automatically generate a license plate. Um, that's through the uh, mobile app menu. Um, so basically, if you remember on a, on a two-step receiving pro or a single-step receiving process, it's going to still going to go through the receiving location. And it's going to assign a, lo uh, a license plate when it does that. So I've got my item in there. I'm going to say OK. All right. So if we take a look at this this put side here. It's going to ask me to put into location QMS. So what, what happened in the background is when this item gets registered, it's looking at our, our quality association and it's generating a quality order in the background and um, for this item. So then it reads that and then triggers our location directive that's looking for open quality orders to have the uh, worker move it to the QMS location. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and say okay to that. And then we're done with the registration step. So let's go ahead and take a look at the the quality order that was generated. Uh, so if we go into inventory management, periodic tasks, and then uh, quality orders. And we have this one here. This is our recent one uh, for the A0001. Now, two things I want to point out. If I go to the general tab here, remember we set up um, on the quality order uh, whether or not uh, what the status should be or if the status is going to update. So we've these are being pulled over from our quality associations that we set up. So if, if the order fails, it's going to go to blocking. If it's passed, it's going to go to available. Okay. And then the other thing I want to show you is where we have our license plate. So on the order here, it's, it's specifying our license plate as well. All right. So if we go in and enter our results, I'll click on the results down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say result quantity of one and I'm just going to save that. Um, I'm just, I want to force this this order to fail is what I'm trying to do. And then, then what we're going to do is we're going to see the status go ahead and get updated to blocked. Okay. So once I go ahead and validate this order, one of the things we can look at is the inventory status where it's saying um, yes. So that's coming from our quality association. If I look at the select statement, it's going to look kind of wild here. But the main things we want to look at is, you know, it's specifying our license plate. Um, it's looking at our location, so that's that's everything that it needs to update the uh, the stock. Okay, so we're going to say okay to that, and then I'll also say okay to this. All right, um, so then we can go and look at our on hand on this. Now I think I previously had a. Let's actually pay attention to what our our license plate ends in sixty two. I think I've got another item in there that's that's got a license plate as well. So. So let's go to the on hand, look at the overview, and we'll go to the QMS location looking for, for our item. This in, ends in 62. All right, so our so if we take a look at this in our QMS location, we have inventory status of blocking, and then here's our license plate here um, for one. So as you can see, with warehouse management, advanced warehouse, quality orders are significantly different. You do have to set them up a little bit differently in that quarantine warehouse 
when that goes away, there, you have to do some uh, work to get around that. So you need to make sure you have your statuses set up, make sure you're using the license plate if you're using the same location. Other than that, it's not terribly bad, it's just different. In this video, we didn't really cover how to set up the quality orders themselves. Um, so what I'll do in the, in the near future, we'll do, I'll do another video on that. So if you wanna see that, be sure and subscribe so you see when that comes out. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up or like it, that, that helps me out here on YouTube. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching.